Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus Terrain painting tutorial and today we are painting some Awakened Wildwoods. Now these are to go with my 24 hour Sylvaneth army and we've got two different styles of trees that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing this darker red version and we're going to be doing this whiter purple version as well. I'm going to be doing both in this tutorial and well, we're just gonna jump in and we're gonna start painting them. So the color we're gonna be using first is Wildwood. Now I've got some Wildwood on my palette and I've thinned it down with just a touch of water just to make it nice and runny and just to build up a nice puddle. I wouldn't normally recommend this, but this is, to, this is terrain. So ultimately just adding a little bit of water just to make it nice and runny isn't gonna really damage it too much. And basically what we're gonna do is we're just going to start adding this all over our bark. Now this is going to take a little while because this is, well, it's pretty much the biggest feature of, of our miniature. As it's a tree. <laughs> and that's really all there is to it. So you just want to start whacking this all over. I recommend sort of starting in the middle and kind of coming up to around about halfway there. We're going to do this across both our trees. Now on the red one, what we're going to do is we're going to colour in the mushrooms, but on the sort of white or pinky one, we're not going to colour in the mushrooms. We're going to try and avoid them. But it doesn't matter if you get a little bit of this on there here and there, it'll be all right. Don't worry too much. So for now, just focus on getting this wildwood all over the trees. So with that done, we have both of our trees looking somewhat like this, as you can see. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this one to one side because we've left the mushrooms as they are. We're going to put that just to one side for the moment and we're going to pick this one up, the one that we've coloured in the mushrooms. Now the colour we're going to be using is Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to be applying this very liberally over all of the flowers. We can go straight from the pot here. There's tons of resources, resources, recesses on this model, on these leaf, leafy bits that we can just slap this all over and the contrast paint will run into it perfectly. So we don't have to be too worried about, you know, the amount of paint we have on our brush. We can just move it around and just really blob it on there. It's very liberating. Now I find doing the whole of the top and then doing the whole of the bottom is the easiest way of doing things. Of course, if you want to take it a top and bottom section at a time, you absolutely can. So with that done, you should have a red tree that looks somewhat like this. It's looking pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that to one side just for now, and we're gonna paint in our sort of white purple tree. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a shade paint. We're gonna use Drooky Violet here for this over the top of our wraith bone base coat. And we're just gonna start applying this all over. The leaves.
So with that done, we now have two different types of trees and they look pretty cool already, but we're gonna take them up a level, of course. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a dry brush. Now, the first one we're gonna do is fulgrim pink. We're gonna be doing this on the red leaves, which is probably not what you were expecting given the other one is purple, but this is what we're gonna be doing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that fulgrim pink on our large dry brush, and we're just gonna start dry brushing this over the outside of our leaves just like this. Now it doesn't have to be a perfect dry brush. You wanna leave some of those kind of red edges in there, in just kind of little patches here and there. You just wanna kind of cover as much of it as you are happy with covering just like this. This gives this this really nice kind of deep reddish pink uh, finish to the leaves. exactly what we're after. So with that done, you should have some red tree leaves that look somewhat like this. So what we're gonna do, pop that to one side. We're gonna grab some pallid witch flesh. I'm gonna use this to dry brush our purple. Much the same way. But as you can see, it just makes them look nice and white. So with that done, our trees are now looking somewhat like this. Really, really cool. Uh, especially when you put them next to each other, they look really, really awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly focus on this one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some black Templar and we're gonna be using this to paint in the mushrooms sprouting from the tree over the top of the wildwood. Like that. We're also going to be using this to paint in the sort of mossy growths as well. Just to create a little bit of variation. On our tree. So with that done, what we're now going to do, we're going to go back to Flesh Terror's Red. We're going to do the same thing on the pink tree, over the top of the mushrooms and the mossy growths. So with that done, both our trees are, well, pretty much their uh, individual details are now all done. What we've just got to do is work on the kind of bases, and then there's a final dry brush that goes over the bark and the bottom base bits as well. So we can just work on one single tree now, as it's going to be the same across both. And the color we're going to be using first is Cyborg Brown. I'm going to be using this on all of the soil. So just go around with the cycle brown like this. 
getting it everywhere that isn't a rock, a bit of fallen branch, or the skeletons. So with that side wall brown all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Basilicanum Grey. I'm going to apply this over all of our rocks. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some wildwood and we're going to paint this over all of our fallen branches. And with that wildwood applied, we're then going to take some skeleton horde. We're going to apply this over all of our skulls and all of our bones scattered around the bases. And so with that done, all that remains is to give the entire thing a dry brush of Karak stone. Now we're going to be doing this all over the base, but we're also going to be doing this all over the bark of the tree, the mossy growths, the mushrooms, the branches. We're not going to be dry brushing this over the top of the leaves, but that's about it. Everywhere else is getting Karak stoned. And so with that dry brush complete over the bark, the mushrooms, the mossy groves, and of course the bases, including the bones, stone and soil and fallen branches, our awakened wildwoods are now finished. A very, very simple scheme to do this and it fits perfectly with my army aesthetic and well, you could use the techniques in this for any colored woods that you want to do. You just have to change that leaf color to Oh, like a, a rich green or something whatever you like but right now these look fantastic alongside the army as you can see on the base below if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster alternatively you can now become a youtube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here just like these absolute bosses have done and if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video you can click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it like it comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.